Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and this time we have a Kranken Panzer Wagen so it's SD KFZ 251 and it is in ambulance version in 135 scale and of course we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and it will be quite uh, I would say unusual set to check because these ambulance versions are not that widespread around the let's say model hobby so that's why it might be a good opportunity to build a diorama around this vehicle and the set number is written here it's 35113 it should be already available and you can get it for example in Madelimex so we have the final shape of this kit and nothing will change if you order it from this model magazine okay so first of all the box size is standard for a 135 scale kit from ICM here you can see comparison with my hand we have quite nice box art here and then if I flip it over uh, to the top, so we have the history node and also the information about the kit and I can check it as well. So there are 290 parts and assembled model will be just 169 millimeters long. So it's not that huge build to assemble. And here on the opposite side, you can see two marking options which are included into this kit. As usual, everything is sealed with uh, tape. So I'm going to cut through it right now and then we will check together what is actually supplied in the package and why it might be a uh, quite good purchase for your 135 scale project so just give me a moment as you can see i'm cutting it with a knife just not to break anything in the meantime i can also remind you that we reviewed the previous re uh, versions of the sd kfc and you can find it on our youtube channel as well just type in the name of this vehicle and you will see all of the videos which were made about this uh, unusual i would say tracked vehicle so the box structure is uh, classic for acm and if i open it here inside you will find the plastic bag with the parts and it's a resealable plastic bag so it should be quite easy and quick to open just give me a moment, I need to find a flap which actually does this. Okay, so uh, if you are familiar with this ICM kit, because it's not exactly completely new plastic, we have here the Wynio tracks and Wynio tires. This is something you will not be able to avoid on your build, so be ready for this thing. And I think it might be worth to search or to look for the replacement uh, resin parts. It will cost you extra money, but in 135 scale I think it might be a worthy upgrade which will be noticeable on the final model, let's say, final result. So definitely worth investing. Next, I opened one more plastic bag because here we have the clear parts and as you can see they are all fit onto one sprue and as far as I can guess we will need only a few of those and uh, specifically the lenses for the headlamps and that's pretty much all. But main, I would say, point is that the quality, molding quality looks great. There are no masks included and I think the mask template will not be also here so you will have to improvise by yourself. Next we start with the first grey plastic sprue, so here I will place this frame like that maybe and let's zoom out a bit. So now you can see what we are talking about here, so we have the hull parts and also engine parts, suspension elements, so the lower section of the hull should be assembled out of separate panels, be careful with this. There are guiding elements which will help you with alignment, but it's still worth checking the overall fitment of these panels, as you can see they are quite big, so here is comparison with my hand, and that's why it is better not to hurry with this, and then you will get the nice result. Now in the end. Next we continue with a double set of spurs. This is actually not the spurs but spruce. Oh, we have the spruce C and here we have the road wheels and also some of the armament. So I will zoom in a bit. So you can notice that the road wheels are molded together with the rubber sections and this is something where you have to be careful again with the painting because it will be important to get the precise paint finish on your model but I think for experienced modelers it should be quite a easy thing to do nothing unusual and if i flip it over here you can check those parts from the opposite side next we continue with 
another gray plastic sprue. This one actually carries the various uh, Pioneer tools. Also, we have some of the engine parts and interior parts. And this is what is cool about the set from ICM because we also get quite detailed interior. Even though it will be a question how to expose it on the finished model, not all of the parts will be visible. So definitely keep it in mind when you will be working on this. It will require some time to I would say make it more or less uh, noticeable on the finished model that there are actually some nice features inside as well. Next we continue with the um, interior floor panel. So I will not zoom out just to show you that there are some pre-molded features such as for example the floor texture. And now we can zoom out finally so that you can see also the side panels. I guess those ones will be used for the interior. So as you can see we have a lot of guiding elements as well. And again the same can be said about this floor panel. So all of the structure is actually combined out of this panels and you should keep it in mind because some of the elements will require the uh, painting in advance and for example here we also have another floor panel and I'm not sure which one will be used because of this medical version let's say note that also the bonnet and doors or hatches are molded separately so you can actually open them and it might be uh, also useful for some diorama ideas even though I think that manufacturer will not show such assembly option but we will see it in the assembly manual first of all i would like to show you the decal sheet so here it is we have all the necessary symbols for two marking options as you remember we even have the dials for the dashboard so this is more than enough for a 135 scale kit Next we continue with the assembly manual, so here I am closing the lenses so that you won't be blinded by the white cover pages. Uh, first of all we have the short history note and technical specifications on the cover or on the first page. Next we continue with the parts map, so this red orange color means that these parts will not be used. I wonder why here we have the reddish color and here it's more on the orange side. And assembly process starts with the lower hull section. So as you can see you have to choose which uh, marking option you will be assembling because it will define the option uh, for the parts to be used. And by the way here you can see exactly what I was talking about, a lot of panels getting together and that's why it is important to pay attention which uh, of the alignment elements are used, how they are going together, under which angle, how they should look in the final form. And also here, by the way, you can see the engine assembly. So for the engine assembly, in my opinion, it might be worth adding some wiring in case you plan to expose it on your vehicle. Here, as you can see, we do not have any instructions, but I think it's not difficult to find some reference material for that purpose. Next, we continue with uh, more of the interior parts being installed in the uh, main compartment. And here, I guess those elements will be specific for the medical version. And next we continue with the frame for the tarpaulin. And note that you have to drill some holes. And it should be custom because there are also some measurements how you can drill them properly. So definitely uh, do not hurry in this moment. And next we continue with the bonnet panels, so as you can see they're <laughs> assembled in a closed position, that's what I was talking about. Next we install more parts inside, we also delete some of the external elements because they're not useful for this particular version. Again more of the medical hangers getting inside, a fire extinguisher here, then we start working on the drivetrain, the separate road wheels as you remember and front wheels with the vinyl tires and the uh, let's say tracked part with the vinyl tracks as you remember next pioneer tools rear view mirrors also clear parts for the headlamp lenses as i said before and here we have the first marking option from 1941-1942 and one more here from 1941-1942 eastern front but as you can see there are some colorful let's say additions in the interior so it might be worth replicating both and as i said in the beginning of this video the kit should be already available so you can get it on Modelimex web shop i will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye